Wendy Bone from Startline Health and Wellness Group. Today I wanted to talk with you a little bit about the spine because we're talking about spinal health and spinal degeneration. So when we look at the spine, we notice that it has certain curves in it. These are called the vertebral bodies. These are called the spinous processes. And these are our Z joints right in here. Now when you're sitting or standing, we want the body weight to actually go through these large bones, the vertebral bodies, not through these joints at the back. And that's why posture is so important because when people talk about arthritis or degeneration of the spine, it's often these joints that have become thick, thickened down, worn down, and that, and that affects the holes here where the nerves come out because we get a buildup of bony, tissue, bony substance in there and it starts pushing on the nerve. So when you're standing or sitting, if we have this excess lordosis or curve in our lower back, the weight is going to be going through these joints, which tells the body to put down some tougher tissue, which is bone. That's what causes the thickening in there. The other thing that can impact what's happening at your spine is trauma. And quite often, if you play hockey like me, you've had falls onto the buttocks, like that, jarring. And what happens is down here, on top of this vertebral body, is called an end plate. And I always think about it as a, a little bit of shellac, protecting it. And what can happen with those falls onto the buttock is that end plate can get fractures in it, which then can cause changes in this disc structure, and it becomes narrow. And as that narrows down, then the joints become closer together. And again, that can impact and cause wear and tear. The other things we must consider when we're looking at the spinal health is what's happening at the muscles. And we have muscles that run deep in along the spine here, and they control how much rotation and movement you have. And then you have the larger muscles on the outside that are attaching to the back. And they are the movers for the back, not necessarily the controllers. And then you have the longer muscles that also run up and down the spine. They're not in tight, they're up and through here and they can run. And those are what we have to keep in balance, left side, right side, in order to not be tilted one way or the other. So if you want more information on spinal health or you feel that you have spinal degeneration and want to know how to manage your back, then give us a call at Startline Health and Wellness Group. Thank you.